Good evening, everybody. It's me. It's Kevin Lee. And I want to welcome you all to Live with Kevin Lee podcast. And this is a podcast show that uh, I've been doing for over a year, probably a year and a half by now. And the purpose of this show is really to bring to you uh, what I didn't have in the last 15 years, which was access to people, leaders and luminaries and these amazing lessons that really help us to up-level our mind, up-level our game in life, up-level even family situations or dynamics. Uh, just really bring your life to another level of greatness that's already inside you. We just got to find it. And so I have experts that I try to bring on the show uh, that can share with you different aspects uh, from their life, from their journey, from their even their businesses that have helped them overcome challenges, walk out of the dark valley of what do they call that? The, the dark night of the soul. And what did they learn from that experience? And so today, where I'm actually very pleased to bring you a, a good friend and a business colleague of mine, Anastasia Palacios. And uh, I'd like to just share a little bit about her with you so you'll get an understanding of what we'll be speaking on during this next probably good half hour. So this information that we're going to speak about today is really on transformational training, but also camera confidence. And that's what she's really known for. She's uh, our special guest today. She is what they call the Oprah of oration for her gift of voice, for her confidence, that's for sure, but also her business leadership skills, the trifecta. And she is an international media personality, TV host, best-selling two-time author, and a CEO of Social Light Media, a marketing and PR firm in the Bahamas. Now, through her international TV show, Bahamas at Sunrise, she's earned nominations for the Bahamian Icon and Media Awards for her inspiring and engaging entertainment segments. She has also facilitated government meetings that have streamed live to over 200, pardon, 150 countries, as mm -hmm. well as having interviewed government ministers and officials from the United Kingdom and throughout the Caribbean. She's even hosted an international youth organization of meetings in Cairo, Egypt. I find that fascinating. I might ask you about that. Mm -hmm. And perhaps some of you recognize her face uh, on, uh, she's an, uh, repeated appearances on, as a certified transformational trainer on the stage of the number one motivational speaker in the world, uh, and that would be Lisa Nichols. So I would like to welcome to our show the beautiful Anastasia Palacios. Welcome, my dear. Thank you so much, Kevin Lee, for having me. I am so blessed to be with you, to be with your audience, to just be sharing today. Thanks again for having me. Absolutely. I know that you stay busy. So I wanted to just uh, reach out and, and bring you into my, my little garden of life and let your light shine because, I, you know, it's interesting. I have been doing this type of work for many years, and I know that you have uh, as well. You've been on camera, you've been in film, you've been on stage, you've done a lot of work in many different countries, in fact. And a lot of times people in our positions are very intimidated by spotlight, by the stage, by microphones, just by being in front of people. And so with the, the beautiful resume and the bio that I shared with our community, you know, I would love for you to just speak on what, what drew you to becoming a, a speaker in the spotlight in the, just the big way that you have done it. So what was that? Thanks for that question, Kevin Lee. I think I'm really, really fortunate because from a very young age, I loved to speak. Mm -hmm. And my mom said I started talking very young as a baby and I never stopped. Uh -huh. And I was fortunate to have great parents like she and my dad and some really good teachers uh, who, when I wouldn't stop talking in their classrooms, they pulled me aside and let me learn poetry and let me learn stories that I would use in festivals across our country. Um, um, as a way to engage me, right? And then they put me on the stage in theater. And so from a very early age, I knew that I loved communicating, that it was my safe space. Mm -hmm. What later happened though, Kevin Lee, is that while I was great on camera, I was great on stage, I found it very hard to connect with people one-on-one. -on -one. And so I realized that I wanted to go beyond just being a personality and being someone that could truly to connect with audiences. Mm -hmm. And right around the time that I was praying for you know, how do I go to the next level? How do I really make sure that I'm not just passing through and, and leaving something for someone to scraps for people to catch, but really delivering a full buffet in terms of what I offer and how I can connect. Uh, you know, I gave a TEDx talk 
And someone speaking at that TEDx talk was bringing in Lisa Nichols to the Bahamas. Oh. Uh, she and I connected because I was hosting a TV show at the time and we, we let Lisa come on the show. And following that, you know, Lisa and I had a conversation and I was able to join her in just three weeks um, at Speak and Write to Make Millions and, and Speakers Mastermind. And that transformed me, Kevin Lee. It gave me one, the opportunity to learn, to, to share my stories in a way wow. that would connect with people but also let me meet people like you on her campus right. who helped me to, to want to connect from not just a stage place, but in real life, right? And so really it's just been divine intervention um, and, and showing up at the right time, uh, you know, the universe calling things together for me at the right time. And then me having the courage and the willingness to step into that and take mm. it to the next level. That's true. It's that you literally, you, it, you said what I was thinking, which was, as you said, just a few weeks later, you, you met this lady named Lisa Nichols uh, when you were at the TED Talks. And I thought, oh, that's Providence. Mm -hmm. That is the universe uh, winking and letting you know you're exactly where we need you to be because we're about to uh, place another path in your life. And I think that's beautiful that you recognize that. I love that when people uh, really step in and embrace it. And it can be scary. You know, I many years ago, I used to run from just walking eight feet into a front of a, a ministry or in front of the classroom. I didn't want to be up there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I find great joy in it now. But it really took effort. And it took me really uh, recognizing that the people, my audiences in my little ministry and the, the nonprofits that I serve, it the people needed what I have to share, what I had yeah. to share. Yeah. And so I saw that as a way for me to give back. And before I knew it, I, I realized, you know what, I'm actually really enjoying this. And it's not as scary as I thought. I can do a better <laughs> job. And that really is what began the whole up level. Uh, and uh, it's taken 15 years <laughs> of that walk, but it's really amazing. Uh, but we have to choose. We have to make that personal choice to be willing to serve something beyond ourselves. Let's go on to the next thing, because what I wanted to ask you was, I know that you're an author as well. So did you feel uh, that you this was another avenue for you to speak to people that uh, perhaps weren't in your aud audiences, but was more of a global reach? Wow. Uh, so I will, I will share with your audience, Kevin Lee, that I, I'm a woman of faith and I'm a, a Christian, a practicing Christian. So I will make references to God throughout our conversation. Perfect, perfect. And of course, that's never done with the intent to offend those who are not, but it's just me sharing my story. And so, uh, Kevin Lee, long before I even met Lisa and before I took my speaking to the next level, before I started coaching, and uh, even while I was just trying to start to figure it out, I knew that I had these stories that I wanted to share. Mm. Uh, many years ago, I had gone, my sister was mentoring some young girls at an orphanage. And they were getting ready to go back to school. And I went to speak with them to motivate them. And I had created these lists of 26 words, letters A through Z, that they could use to empower themselves. And I kind of wrote little notes under each word so that they could journal and just start to process any emotions that they were feeling. Well, that happened many years ago. That might have been 2012. And then a couple uh, years after that, I got this very clear vision that I needed to take that material and turn it into an actual book. Mm. Well, you know, sometimes we hear from the universe, we hear from God, and we just are like, ah, I'm not going to be bothered by it, right? <laughs> but Kevin Lee, I got this follow-up vision of, of God really saying to me that, you know, more than anything, I want you to utilize your time and to utilize it wisely. I'm not concerned about all the other things that people say are wrong or right. I want to know, did you come to this earth and did you serve people the way that I intended for you to serve them? And right now, I've given you a book and you've not done anything with it. Well, <laughs> Kevin Lee, that, that scared me a bit. Right. I, went to, I went to speak right. and write to make millions and, you know, I saw Lisa and her team and they were encouraging people to, you know, just get started to wow. create a book cover to do something. And so I started at that point, that was 2017, to think more about how I was going to turn this into a book. Wow. And then the pandemic came in 2019 and Kevin Lee, I was pregnant with my second child. Wow. I had had a lot of challenges in my first pregnancy. And honestly, I was very scared uh, sure. about this pandemic and what would happen. Sure. Um, and then I just realized that I can't control that, but I can take action with the time that I have. And if the action, if action is the antidote to despair, then maybe by me writing out my truth and taking a look back over the times so that my faith has served me, maybe that would help. And Kevin Lee, it did. Oh and so in the space God. of about four weeks, I had written the book. 
I mm-hmm. sent it over to some editors and then we published it. Uh, and so that process took me all of maybe 90 days. Okay. And it's just <laughs> crazy because it took me almost nine years to write it, but 90 days right. to get it done. Um, and Kevin Lee, it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. I'm so happy to see people around the world embracing the book. I'm happy that there are going to be people that maybe never even hear me speak, but are looking right. up some titles on Amazon and find it. And I just think they're, they're, my ability to create it and to do it is a reminder to everyone else that they can do the same. And that's what happens when we take action. Wow. Not only do our stories help other people, but the action itself inspires other people to, do, to take action as well. And before you know it, we're, we're changing the world together. So, well, you're sharing today just all of the things, the little nuggets that you've been sharing. The fact that you wrote this book, a devotional for women, uh, it was entitled A to Z to the Best of Me, 26 Day Devotionals for Women. Mm-hmm. And I think that's beautiful because, you know, really at the core of all, even all of us, it, it, we need to uh, return to, to valuing and loving ourselves, being more compassionate with ourselves more forgiving with ourselves. And I think this is something that because we're externally distracted by electronics and social media and who's doing what on television and all that, we're so pulled outward. We don't spend time in devotion inward and we are spiritual beings in human uh, human form. And we have to go within and spend time in private time and in communication with God or communication with the goddess or universe, whatever you call that source. And uh, I think it really does balance the mind and prepares you, really, it, it really truly prepares you. Science even knows that. The mind is, is balanced and stabilized electrically and chemic- chemically when we sit in spiritual time, in meditation. Mm-hmm. And it prepares you to meet the challenges of life and business and relationships. So it's a very important thing that I think you've created. And, you know, I always say in divine timing, and, and I wonder if you look back, let's say five years ago, and you began to write this book or finish the book, do you think it would have served the way it's served now? No. no. And I, know, um, I knew that was the answer. Yeah, no, Kevin Lee, because I'm a different person. And that's right. why I've, I've already started to write a second version of this book. I love it. And you know, one, I want to just say to anyone out there, because Kevin Lee, there are some people like you and I who have everyone, as a matter of fact, has this greatness on the inside right. and this capacity on the inside. So many of us fear stepping into the light, right? And we are trying to avoid, you know, maybe it's rejection. Maybe it's um, the fear of what could happen, the great things that could be on the other side yes. of our obedience. Um, mm-hmm. And we're just so stuck in comfort that we don't, we don't move. We don't take action. But, you know, once you start the process, Kevin, you will be surprised at how much more is going to come forth in you. And so I'm grateful that it came at the time that it did, mm-hmm. um, because this, the way that I was able to transform the letter is to fit me now nine years mm-hmm. later versus the person I was nine years ago just allows me to reach a wider audience. Um, and then having completed the first book, there was already a refill in me to pour out even more. Um, and so I'm looking forward to just to seeing more things come in that author space. As a matter of fact, uh, next Monday, August 8th, I've worked with some of the women on the same campus that you and I are on. And we have co-authored a book called uh, Becoming Dynamic. And in that, we all share stories around the things that have forced us to be more dynamic. And so now I've gone from just being a solo author to now a co-author. And I'm looking forward to just seeing more things come from me um, and, and watching God Uh, allow those things to unfold as I stay in action and I stay connected to people like you. That's a holy trinity. That's your third book, I think. (laughs) I agree. Another sign, another (laughs) sign on the Live with Kevin Lee podcast. (laughs) (laughs) But I think that's pretty amazing. Well, and so you're doing the authorship uh, work that needs to be done to reach people. And then I'm curious with the work that you do on TV, on camera, on uh, live streaming uh, uh, segments, and you have your own show, would you speak to uh, speak to the people that might be listening and watching who are curious about what is it like to actually be on camera or to get on camera? And what are what are some of the probably the most common challenges that people face? And how could they uh, easily uh, overcome those? Yeah, well, I I love being on camera. And so I tell people for me, it really is the greatest, one of the greatest joys that I have, because it is the thing that lights me up. It is the thing that gives me um, so much energy. 
But I know that when I interview guests and as a, a TV host, Bahamas and Sunrise is a very similar in style to a, a Good Morning America, for example. Cool. And so there's, you know, conversation and banter between my co-host and I. But for the most part, we're interviewing guests and we're telling the stories of people in our communities and, and across our nation. And so there are times when guests come on and they are amazing, Kevin Lee, right? Like they've got the best business, they're you, doing outreach, they've got so many things going for them. But the minute they recognize that the lights are going on and that we're going live, they get nervous. Um, and those nerves come from a, a variety of things. One, some people don't want to seem to be or appear to be an amateur. Uh, yes. Some people don't want to seem to be or appear to not know what they're talking about. Some people have a fear that they don't look good on camera. And so those insecurities come forth. Wow. Uh, some people think they might be misunderstood. And so those are some of the common fears that I find, um, both for the guests that I interview and for the students that come on to my confidence campus. And I just always have to remind people, you know, to breathe. That's the very first step, right? Because when we breathe deeply, we allow our, our body to calm down. Uh, when our breathing is shallow, our nerves are, are more at work. And so we are a bit more nervous. And so I do remind them to breathe. And then I just ask them to remember their purpose. What is your why? Mm. And that is applicable in every area of our life, Kevin Lee. So. Whenever we're doing something, it's, you know, why am I doing this? And, and what is the purpose behind it? And so for the people that come on the show, I remind them, you know, that you've got something that we need to know. There's information in you that's going to educate the public or transform the public in some way or transform your own business. And so therefore, like, let's remember that, right? And just remember that it's a conversation between you and I. And for my students in my camera confidence courses, we talk about that too. Like, what is the why? And what happens if you don't proceed in sharing your story? What happens if people don't know what it is that you offer? You know, and it's not just you that lose it. It's those people that have the opportunity to be impacted by you and the work that you're doing. And so, you know, we work through a series of things. And, you know, some people say, oh, well, you know, I, I just don't know what technical equipment I need. And so I've got a full list of that on my website. So there's no excuse right. for that, Kevin Lee, right? You can no, just go ahead and buy everything. Get on stage. <laughs> um, and then people say, well, what if I, I look funny? And I, Kevin Lee, I understand that so many of us are struggling with self-image. Yes. Um, but I, I remind people that, you know, I'm, I'm a bit heavier set than most people that are on television. Um, and for a while, there are some negative comments that I've received yes. about that. But there are also some young people who are built like me who called the show just to say thank you for being on the air because wow. I was giving them courage to go to school, right? Because right. They, they looked different. And so you recognize that you are divinely assigned to draw and attract those who need your story, your voice, right. your look. Uh, because there are so many of us who are more alike than different. And unless you show up, people don't know that it's okay to be themselves. And so... You know, there, there are trips and tricks to looking great. I tell people to find an image of you that makes you feel really good. Okay, and uh, if it's you with makeup on or uh, uh, you with your a certain style, then create that. And whenever you show up on camera, whether you do a production day, and so you're dressed like that for one particular day, and right. then it goes away, or you know that every Thursday at 2 p.m., that's how I'm going to look because that's what I feel comfortable in doing, then do that. But do not make excuses for not showing up. So, when we know that you you have so much to offer. And the fact of the matter is statistics show us that those people who show up on camera, whether on their websites or uh, even podcasts like yours, their businesses go further because they're willing to connect with people in a way that people can actually physically see them. That makes so much sense. I, I think that's really important. And you and you just went back to the why. And it's, it's interesting because a lot of times before events and programs and ministry work or things like that, a lot of times leadership behind the scenes will, will huddle and they'll do prayer work or they'll, they'll do a meditation or they'll do embodiment work. And they'll say, let's remember, why are we walking out there to serve this audience, this stage, mm -hmm. this congregation? Uh, what we're, we're going live. What is the reason and the purpose behind this? We need to focus on that. And what that does is it pulls us out of our fears that you mentioned, which I thought was brilliant. And then you mentioned also about how uh, uh, fear of the unknown. I guess that is still a fear. It's not knowing what to expect. How do I look? How do I sound? Am I prepared enough? Do I how do I come across to these people? How does my body really show up? Because maybe I'm curvy. Look at Lizzo and what she has done with her. Uh, I don't know the proper term, but the girls that dance with her, uh, she the backup dancers, but they're all types, transgender, white, black, Asian, uh, uh, different sizes and looks. And 
I, I think it's it is truly amazing that now we're in, especially in a social media world, we're moving to a much more realistic view of humanity, which is all shapes and sizes, and even uh, whether people are uh, handicapped or capable. I can't remember mm-hmm. the proper word, handicapable. And uh, so things like that, because we're starting to see people that are maybe in wheelchairs and crutches on camera, on on sets, and even in commercials, it's really nice to see. So, you know, uh, there's uh, famous speakers that we know of, Nick Bo- uh, Vojacek, if I am pronouncing it correctly, and uh, the gentleman, he was born with no legs and arms, and yet mm-hmm. is a world-renowned, very famous speaker that is very Mm -hmm. busy and his message is powerful Mm -hmm. and he speaks from his pain he speaks from his trauma and and, you know the funny thing is I'm sure you you teach your students this but I wanted to run from all my pains I didn't want people I thought who in the heck wants to hear about all my problems (laughs) it doesn't make any sense to me and now I get why it's so valuable because I've walked through the 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 dark valley and I've learn my lessons. And uh, I'm sure that you teach that as well in your cam- camera confidence course and uh, the other coaching programs that you're involved with. Yeah. And, you know, I just, I really want to say that we are divinely created, right? Like we, we are good. Society tells us that we ought to look different, but that's just so unfair because uniformity takes away the beauty of our individual individuality and of our stories. And so You know, it's not easy to overcome, especially Kevin Lee in transformation. We know and understand that many things have happened in our childhood that, you know, prevents us from walking a certain way, uh, especially if you've been teased about something. And so you may have to do the actual work around healing around the negative things that people have said or, you know, doing the mirror work to say, you know, I I think I'm beautiful, even if you don't necessarily feel that. But what you don't want to do is to let those things stop you from showing up because there is someone on the other side of the room that needs to see someone that looks like them uh, in that space. And that person ought to be you. Wow. You know, I'm going to say this, you're going to laugh, but in in my book, I put one of my grandmother's quotes and it was darling. And I came to her because uh, kids were picking on me and she said, darling, the brighter your light, the more bugs are going to come at you. (laughs) I, like, <laughs> I love it because you it. always have like that one light bulb out out in the country or in the neighborhood and all the bugs are around it and it's really <laughs> true the brighter your light I have found in the last 15 years the brighter I have gotten meaning the more visible I am the more accolades I have achieved awards titles whatever I've accomplished mm-hmm. uh people have people are very threatened and for various reasons it's always their own programming the the achievement is what they see as the lack in themselves, which stirs yeah. them tremendously. Now, let me ask you, in regards to social media and the TV work that you do, if our viewers and listeners were to begin doing this work and people uh, left very unkind comments on their social media or in mm-hmm. comment sections, how would you suggest that they handle those? Yeah. So, you know, it can be, it can be brutal out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been fortunate, Kevin Lee, to really have crafted a niche and to especially on my social media be surrounded by people that don't comment negatively I've I've had a few of them I will not lie to you yes. um, and they've been hurtful I actually left them there I didn't remove them because I think that people need to see that that people are going to be mean right and so yes. other people might be in the comments but what you find is that your followers your tribe the people that support you will actually defend you And so I've had some, I don't have to come back and fight anyone because I have other people that will jump up and say, don't say that, or we disagree, or we think, you know, we think this. Um, And so that can happen, but you've got to be strong enough in knowing that That your message is not for everyone. It's just not Kevin Lee. Not everyone's going to love you. Not everyone's going to think you're the bee's knees, but are you still reaching the people whose lives are being transformed? And so I really would say this, what I've started to do very recently is every time I speak or I share and someone sends me a message saying, oh, this moved me or oh, this changed me, I've started to take screenshots of those and I'm putting them into a little folder so that when I get the negative feedback, I can go back and look at the people whose lives I'm actually wow. transforming. So that's mm-hmm. a really good idea for people who need to see and be reminded like, no, what wow. I'm doing is still a very good thing. So I would suggest wow. that. You know and what? I like just, that. What, create a little folder of sugar. Cube, yeah, that's right? it. The, the that's little it, sugar yeah. that your little bees bring you. Uh, I like that. I think that's super cute. And I like the fact that you said not everybody's going to like you. 
And I thought, you know what? It almost sounds like a mantra that Lisa, that Lisa has us uh, create for ourselves. Uh, not everybody's going to like, uh, not everybody's going to love me, but I'm going to love myself. <laughs> yeah, yep, indeed. I, 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 I have a four-year-old daughter and every morning we say the same affirmations, right? She says, no, God loves me. Mommy loves me. Daddy loves me. Oh. I love me. And like, and oh. so I tell her she's at four. She's annoyed that she has to say it. But the goal for me is that there will come a time when yes. she's in school with kids that don't like her. And that's going to be fine because people have the right to choose. Right. Wow. But do you love you? Right. And can you remember that even behind you loving you, there's a core group of people that will always love you. Right. And so some of us don't have that. Some of us didn't grow up in families yes. where, where we felt loved or where we felt no. supported. But if you have the power to love you and, and the biggest thing, Kevin Lee, is that we have the power to be in action now. So we get to create our own communities and our own tribe. And I get to be in community with Kevin Lee. And you'll hear me call him brother, right? Because we are in a space of unconditional love. So if you find that you are not in a, in a position um, where your family or maybe old friends support you, you want to find and create new communities of people that do, recognizing that not everyone will always have your back. But as long as you believe in your message and you're contributing to people who believe the same, you're going to be okay. Oh, that's a beautiful message. I, I appreciate you sharing that. And I think that will really resonate with a lot of the our viewers and listeners on the show. And, and I'm curious, how can people find you in uh, in the real world? How can they find you on in the social media world as well? Yeah, well, so Kevin Lee told you my name. It's Anastasia Palacios. Most people call me Star. And so you can find me at Home of Stars. Uh, it's on Instagram. My website is homeofstars.com. Um, I'm on TikTok very recently, Kevin Lee. Oh, good for you, <laughs> not me. <laughs> but I managed to like maybe do four videos, but uh, I'm cute. there as well um, at, at Home of Stars, Twitter at Home of Stars. And then both YouTube and Facebook are Anna Star Sia. Um, and you can find me there. But I'd love to connect. If you are friends of Kevin Lee, then you're a friend of mine automatically. Um, and I just want us to continue to celebrate each other doing good in the world. Absolutely. And, and for those of you who are listening and watching today on the show, I wanted to, and, and if you're watching this on repeat, uh, just check down in the description field for the video or for the post and you'll find contact information as well. Now, I'm a, a quick question for you, uh, Star. I want to ask you about Speak to speak and Write to Make Millions because Lisa has her first live event coming up at the, uh, I believe it's in October, if I'm not mistaken, in Los Angeles. Will you be going and will you be speaking? I will definitely be there. Um, I'm not sure if I'm speaking. I, I leave that to the discretion of our great coach and leader, Lisa. Um, and what she likes to do is to highlight all of her students who continue to just show up, right? Mm. Um, and so I've spoken at Speak and Write uh, in the past oh, five years very consistently. But I, I would not be surprised if she gave some other students the chance. And I think that that's great uh, mm. because you want to show how many lives you're impacting. But if she calls on me, I'll certainly be available to do so. Um, and sure. I'm always open and willing to share with our with our campus. Tell, tell our listeners what is Speak and Write to Make Millions. What what is it exactly they would learn if they were if they were going to this? Okay, so literally the title speaks for itself, right? <laughs> but no, it's it's so good, Kevin Lee, because people want to be speakers and they're afraid. And like I said to you, a lot of our fear will not be transformed until we start to do some self-development work. But what we can do in the interim is to give you some technical tools that we know work. And so there's a science to speaking that Lisa has developed. And these are really good tools because they help you to hit the nail on the park every time. Right. It's a very simple formula. If you follow the formula all the way, much like if you're baking your grandmother's cornbread or yeah. a peach cobbler, Kevin Lee, if you follow it to the T and you don't change anything, <laughs> it's always going to work. And so Lisa is able to, to show you some formulas that she uses for speaking and that her students like me have used for speaking that oh. always work um, yes. and allow us to connect with our audiences in meaningful ways. And oh. Kevin Lee, I will tell you, I went to that conference. I learned one of the techniques by taking that technique. And this is a speaking technique. I applied it to writing. And Kevin Lee, I grew my Instagram followers from, I think, um, 9,000 to 11,000 within three months. Using wow. this one technique, I kid you not, right? Wow, we need and to so, talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like I mean, this stuff really does work if you apply it. And th bigger than that, though, you're gonna be in this space. And I don't know if you've always felt like you belonged, Kevin Lee. I've not, 
I um, I, there, there have been times when I felt like I did not belong, that yeah. there was no one in the world like me, that I was all oh, alone. Yes. Yes, um, and so we have a tendency to believe that. And I think that's the plan of the enemy to distract us from the bigger goal, to isolate us and make us feel like we are. But in this room, you meet people that are just like you, like you meet wow. Gladiators and unicorns and and Love friendly you space faces. Alone, right? and you're not. Nice. You're not Kevin Lee, and it's that is the most beautiful part of it. So you get some technical things. She actually goes through how to write a book and how she was able to um, create millions from her book. Uh, and so she, if you want to be an author or if you've already written books, you want to come and hear that part. But more wow. than anything, for me, it's been the community. It's been the community. It's been the exposure to new ideas new thoughts, new ways of doing business, new ways of networking. Um, you know, I just, it just blew my mind and I will continue to go for as long as I can that's, because I always exciting. get something new. That's exciting. Uh, I'm definitely going to be there because I'll be heading for my graduation in CTTP certified transformational training program, which you're a graduate of as well. Congratulations. And, uh, I just really would like to thank you once again for your time for today to just come and share with the community, because I know that a lot of the people in my tribe, my community, they are uh, small business owners, speakers, spiritual people, business owners, leaders, nonprofit leaders, government leaders. And uh, I know that uh, there's probably a lot of people that uh, have learned something today, uh, a new perspective, perhaps, on speaking on stage, on camera. And it's, if nothing else, maybe it's just crack that egg open a little bit to give them a glimmer of hope that if we can do it, they can do it. That's what I say. I'm just a guy from a Texas cow farm, literally. <laughs> and if I can get on a stage, anybody can get on the stage. <laughs> I've just learned how to, I've been thrown into the fire more times than you. So I'm comfortable. <laughs> That's all it is. Indeed, indeed. That's all it is. I just want to celebrate you and all that you're doing, uh, especially in your camera confidence programs, your coaching programs. I've heard very good acclaims for those and uh, well-deserved and keep shining your light, keep bringing just your lessons to the world. And ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you as well for tuning in and checking out this week's show and and being a part of this. And I and I do want you to, to reach out and check in with Star when you have time. We'll make sure that we have contact information for her and all the many ways you can reach her. And until then, I'm Kevin Lee. I'm your brother in Purpose and Possibilities. And I will...